Hello everyone. Welcome to the online section for class 9 and 10 computer science. The topic for this section is introduction to Java and Bluejay. The first topic introduction to Java and JVM. Java is a programming language which is created in 1995 by Sun Microsystems. Nowadays, Java is used in more than 3 billion device platforms. Java is mainly used for mobile application, especially Android apps, desktop applications, web applications, web surveys, application surveys, games, database connections, etc. Now, what do you mean by platform? Platform is the combination of hardware and software. Without platform, Java programs cannot run on any device. Java can be used to create two kinds of programs. They are first one, applets. Applets are application programs which dynamically change or react to user inputs. There are some applications which run on server side and those applications are known as servlets. Servlets are those applets which is designed to run on the server side. The second category is application. Application is an independent standalone program that runs on an operating system of a computer. An example is Bluejay. What do you mean by program? Program is a series of coded software instructions to control the operation of a computer or other machines. We need code them. Then what do you mean by codes? Codes are basic lines of commands that is needed to run a program. Codes are divided into three types. They are the first one, source code. Source code contains the declaration, instructions, functions, statements, which tell the program how to work. Second one is native code. It is a programming code compiled to run particular machine with a given set of instructions. Third one, byte code. It is a programming code that is compiled from the source code into low level programming code or known as software interpreter. It may be executed by the virtual machine. In the case of Java, it is JVM or Java virtual machine, which is recognized by the processor. What do you mean by Java environment? An environment is necessary for creating Java programs. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment which provides the minimum requirement for executing the Java programs. JRE is the collection of Java programming languages, JVM or known as Java Virtual Machine, JDK that is Java Development Kit and JSL Java Standard Library. Now we are going deep into the topic Java Environment. As you can see in the diagram, Java Environment is the combination of JDK, JRE and JVM. Now first one. JVM or known as Java Virtual Machine which is the combination of the Java Virtual Machine which is recognized by the processor and the core classes and the supporting files which is needed for creation of the Java programs. Java Virtual Machine is an important part for JDK and JRE that is Java Development Kit and Java Runtime Environment. Java program you are using JDK or JRE which will go into the Java virtual machine and the Java virtual machine is responsible for executing the Java program line by line. Hence it is known as an interpreter for Java programs. Next one JDK or Java development kit is the combination of Java environment plus the development tools needed for creating the Java programs or applets. Next one JSL. JSL is the Java standard library which provides many classes, methods which are grouped into functional packages. It is also known as application program interface or API. Now the next topic characteristics of Java. The first one is Java is simple. That means Java is easy to write, it is easy to learn and it is very easy to use is because of that java is known as simple secure that means when we are creating internet applications or web applications java programs do not harm other systems and make it secure next one is portable portable means java programs can execute in any environment 
and can run on any platform it can be transferred over world wide web also and because of that it is known as a portable language next one object oriented java programming is object oriented language that means it supports all object oriented features which we discussed earlier next one robust java is robust that means java is designed in an error free programming manner that is reliable cache free performing runtime checks also next one multi thread multi thread means performing multiple tasks at once java programs support the multi thread programming next one is distributed that means java program can be transmitted distributed over internet next one is open product java is completely an open product it is freely available to everyone the next topic is introduction to blue j id blue j id or blue j integrated development environment is a developing environment designed for java programming languages used in teaching java at an introductory level blue j was developed in 1999 at mons university in melbourne australia now it is maintained by university of kent at canberra and dengi university blue j has its own integrated systems programming languages and environment for designing the java programs blue j contains an editor a debugger a java compiler a java interpreter and an object workbench for creating the objects the next one is how to start a blue j program in order to start blue j program you have to double click blue j icon on the desktop then a normal project window will appear the normal project window will look like this one now we are moving into the creation of new project in blue j to create a new project select the new project in the new project menu when you select it a new project window will appear soon after creating the new project window you have to type the name of the project and you have to just mention where you want to save the file before clicking okay now we are moving on to how to create a class in blue j to create a class you have to click on the project window and select a new class from it the new project window will appear when the window will appear type the name and the class of the program select the class language type select the class type and click on okay right click on your newly created class and select the open editor option this will open an editor window where you can start typing your program before you can type the program you can select all and delete all the text from the editor window if you want to select all the text press control a and press delete option your changes will be automatically saved if you close this editor window or else you can press control plus s key to save your program after this start typing the program next one is correcting the syntax errors after typing the program click on the compile to find out errors in your logic if errors are there it will be noted at the bottom correct it and recompile the program again next one is executing the program in order to execute the program you have to go back to the project window and right click on the class name and select the main method method code window asks the user whether the arguments should be passed or not if arguments are the pass the arguments otherwise click on okay after this the output terminal window shows the output of the program you just compiled you can enter inputs from the keyboard if you created any methods for collecting the inputs from the user at the bottom next topic is saving the program to save the program or class select the save option from the project menu that's it for today's classes hope you enjoyed this section thank you